Hello, hello, and welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. And that's Harry. Today we're talking about Larceny, another weeded bourbon. This is their barrel-proof expression. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Matt? All right. We did the Larceny, but is there anything different with what we have here? A little bit. So it says Larceny Barrel Proof A120. It's just like Elijah Craig's new lace three times per year. This one's 123.2 proof. So same mash bill, 68 corn, 20 wheat, 12 barley. It's between six and eight years old. It's uncut, non-show filtered. So you can taste it just the way Johnny Fitzgerald did when he was stealing with the only keys to the warehouse. So <laughs> that was a good marketing. <laughs> all right. So I assume we'll get much richer and uh, more than all of our wheelhouses on this one for sure. For a more in-depth history of larceny, we will link that video here at the end. smells so good definitely sharper it is big and robust and a lot yep. more alcohol vapors in there it's very smells rich it smells good. very rich mm -hmm. what was the proof on this again 123.2 so going from 92 to 123.2 so pretty big jump wow all righty then oh. so again corn is absolutely the dominant uh grain in here you can smell it popping out of the glass oh yeah this is vanilla and caramel. This is uh, normal bourbon notes for the most part. Yeah, that hay like that I got on the um, regular one isn't as prevalent that no. I get from the wheat. It's mm. it's probably covered up by these vapors here. For me, it's like persimmons <laughs> glistening in an orchard on a warm, sunny day with wispy clouds floating by. <laughs> with cinnamon and oak. with like overripe bananas and brown sugar. Mm. Think, like, like banana foster yeah some cocoa powder some crushed almonds a little char and tobacco that char mm -hmm. and i'm getting that leather note that you were picking mm -hmm. up in the regular larceny but this is more like a tanned leather that's been sitting in the sun right worn mm -hmm. old leather mm -hmm. saddle maybe Ooh. yeah it's like uh the aromatic pipe tobacco it's Hugh Hefner at the Playboy Mansion in his smoking jacket, smoking a pipe. <laughs> it is. Doesn't smell that dirty, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't call this any any kind of funkiness to this at all. Oh, so. God, that's funny. I, I, think, uh, I think that's a little bit off base, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, I, I personally don't have much experience with pipe tobacco smell, so uh, I don't know. I mean... I, I have experience with just regular tobacco smell, but, or a cigar. I don't get cigar mm -hmm. on this. Mm, not cigar. Yeah. For no, me, but I could get that cigar. aromatic I, I, pipe tobacco, something like a cherry mm -hmm. pipe tobacco. Yep. I can get behind just the cherry, mm -hmm. but I, I, again, that, that tobacco side of it, tobacco, not one to go around oh. smoking my, you know, pipes. With I'm tobacco. going in. Yeah. Mm. That proof right there. That cherry you mentioned is is right on the front for me as well. Mm -hmm. It has the leather on the front, the char, the char, the barrel char on the front. Slight sweetness. Everything is just ramped up. <laughs> yeah, and growing. Still yeah, growing. Still and growing. Not even the finish. It's growing mid palate for mm -hmm. me. Like right at the mm -hmm. top of the back mm -hmm. of my, the top of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's, it's it's still growing right there. Yeah, that is a that, swell. This is big. big. This yes, is big bust and wants your attention. Definitely. But all of the flavors are playing very very nicely mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Matt, do we know an approximate age of this? It says six to eight years. Okay. Okay. So it's, not, not it's very really well. Old. It's really good. Well, no, but that's a nice little sweet spot for bourbon. Mm -hmm. It's it's really well rounded for the proof that it is mm -hmm. it's not overly sharp at any point in time um it's very leathery on the finish as the fit as the finish is making its way down i get a lot of the uh, that old leather on the finish mm -hmm. yeah, almost I like an it. ashy nip. Mm, yeah it's ashy yeah it's got a lot of uh, like uh -huh. cinnamon and char now that melted sugar daddy showing back up for me with the nutmeg and almonds and like like those orange sliced sugar candies. 
Um, oh yeah, gummy candies. Yeah, with some vanilla bean and like cream brulee topping. It's a little more oak and more brown sugar. I I really do prefer mm -hmm. this greatly over the regular larceny. Now, unfortunately, this, yeah, is, like this. Uh, this is allocated. And price point? Allocated. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. <laughs> well, well, that's what I'm saying. Like retail, Sometimes when people are allocated, right. Right. Yeah, that's what the one should I be Hill has been that they seem to be able to put out more allocated stuff than uh, like Buffalo Trace. And they seem to, you know, thankfully, I mean, I think Buffalo Trace too, same thing. For the most part, their price points, for the most part, are reasonable. Except for, you know, stupid things like Weller and to add freaking 20 bucks to their damn antique. <laughs> Jerks. Right. Different so story. So the longer this is sitting there and, and opening up, the more smokiness comes through as far as that char. Mm -hmm. smoke I was going to say the barrel. Charcoal briquette. Yeah. And, and not like not like where you get your your smoky scotch smoke. It's not that kind of smoke. No, it's like it's, licking a charcoal briquette. It's like you have a campfire. And you're hanging out around the campfire, mm -hmm. and you have that smoke that's coming off of it. And then you go inside, and that's what you smell like. Mm. Not necessarily yeah. bar barbecuing. Just like, but yeah, yeah, makes sense. Fire pit. Hanging out around the fire pit. Mm. Mm. Water does. Okay. Um, if the proof was too much for you, mm -hmm. add a little bit of water to it. The flavor stay big and constant and in your face but the proof spike dials down the proof is just fine for me i get that but I, I would like you to verify for me the proof spike dialed like down to like probably seven uh instead of the the nine it was already at but most yeah. of the flavors remain pretty constant the growing spice didn't continue to do so but yeah it doesn't it doesn't hang around as much doesn't linger as far as that growth goes and i agree with you the proof has tamped down but the flavors are still there yeah. i think um if anything like the leathery comes out a little bit more Ooh. for mm -hmm. me nice. all right yeah. let's compare it to something you can definitely get every day on the shelf also about 50 bucks it's a 750 of maker's mark cast strength so this one comes in at 111.4 proof. So oh, it's just a baby. Since we compared the regular <laughs> one to the regular larceny, we compare the uh, cash strength maker's mark. So this, like I said, the larceny barrel is harder to find, but this you can get every day on the shelf. So it's about the same price, point by 50 bucks. So let's see how they compare. Again, with the maker's mark, it has a little bit more of a fruity on the on the front of the, the nose for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then again, a sharpness. A sharpness to it that, you know, don't stick your nose in too far and take a big whiff because it is a lot sharper it, to it, me. It'll actually, like, hurt the top of your nasal cavity. Even at a lower proof, uh, I'm getting works. more ethanol vapors out of the maker's mark uh, once again. Yeah, I, I completely agree. It's not as rounded. Mm -mm. It smells thinner. It's got those same, you know, those normal... Uh, bourbon notes that you would normally get your vanilla, vanilla caramel, caramel butter, some butterscotch in there. Baking spices, a little bit of cinnamon, but Ooh. the baking yeah. spices and the cinnamon are turned down in this one compared to the how far up they were turned in the larceny. That doesn't look happy. Yeah, it's really flat compared to uh, the larceny. And this oh, is yeah. one, this, and like, so we'll give the guys a full review on this one too. Mm. This is one of my favorite whiskeys we had at my grandfather's funeral. So we'll get into that story when we review this whiskey. Um, but yeah, I usually really like this, but I think this Larceny Rope was a significantly better product, especially for the same price. It, I'm not going to disagree with that. I left the Maker's Mark on my palate like I typically do. I, I typically chew my whiskey pretty vigorously. And on the very front of it, it was very, very thin. But mm -hmm. after about three seconds of the chew, actually starts to swell quite a bit more and there's more of a flavor coming through. I'm not going to say it's as big as the larceny was, but see, I didn't get that with it. I, I got, I got it just a quick spike at the end mm -hmm. and then it was gone. He's right. Like though. It, there's no really... It shows up big time. I did. Are you shooting? While he was talking here. about it. Uh huh? 
<laughs> if you chew up anything enough, it'll it'll burn. But <laughs> well, that's we'll true. Pretend. Yeah. You're you're right. If you stick Everclear in your mouth, it'll burn really bad. <laughs> it won't be good either. It can be done. We probably yeah. Do it's so. just it's just not as rich mm -hmm. and and flavorful and coating and just larceny just has a better mouth it really does and, and then all the flavors are turned up a little yeah, bit higher and rounded more mm -hmm. yeah, yeah he's this it's very spiky it's not bad I'm no not saying it's bad at all no no it's just when you compare it to something like larceny it, it to me it doesn't hold up Agree. Now, granted, it's still a good whiskey. It's just not as good as this larceny. But right, no. You may not be able to find no. that. So I don't think you'd be oh, disappointed water, if you had this. Um, but I'd rather have the larceny. Matt, first. it needs water. A water made a big difference. The flavors mm. come alive with water. Water brought out the cinnamon a lot more, and it tamps down the spikiness all over the mouth, and it. But it still seems just very thin and flat to me. That's fair. Um, I feel like the cinnamon got dialed up. I feel uh -huh. like the apple note got dialed up. I feel mm -hmm. like the fruitiness all around kind of uh, got brought up. I feel like, um, again, like what she was saying, that spikiness kind of got turned more into a round cohesive ball like the larceny was. So yeah, I, I enjoy this one a lot more with a drop of water. Oh, yeah. I still think I prefer the larceny better. Even the larceny with a drop of water and is, is still, like for me personally, just more than the makers. Fair. But again, that's just me. Yeah. If you align with me, go for the larceny. I, I'm not going to disagree. I think the larceny is a better, it is more aligned with my palate as well. Agree. Yeah. I mean, but if I'm going to drink the makers, Mark, put a drop of water in, I'm going to be a lot happier. If it's put in front of me and that's my choice, I'm going to drink it and I'm going to be okay. But if I have a choice between the larceny and the makers, I'm going to reach for the larceny. Yep. Yep. Agree. All right. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click the little bell for the notifications. And until next time. Keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Slacker. Can't you just edit that in each time? Yes. Edit one.